Okay, so it's an office of the B New Year's member from the Code Forces Brown 697 Division 3. So Polycarp remembered the 2020th year, and he's happy the 2021st year. So to remember such a wonderful moment, he wants to represent the number N as a sum of X amount of 2020s and Y amount of 2021s. So for example, 4041 will be represented by 2020 plus 2021 because 1 2020 and then 1 2021. Um, 4042 can be represented by 2021 times 2. 8081 can be represented by 2021 plus 2020 times 3. But if we take a number like 8079, then we can see that um, it can't be represented by a sum of 2020s plus 2021s. So Polycarp's trying to figure out whether a number n can be represented by a sum of a certain number of 2020s and 2021s. So here is an example. So we have, let's say we have So, what would you do from from this? Right, you have two numbers you either subtract from. You have 2020 and 2021. So you want to make check if this number here is a combination of a certain amount of these two numbers. So the first thing you do is try to make this last digit equal to zero. The reason being is that if it's equal to zero, now you have the option of including the 2020 values. Right, because let's say we weren't allowed to use this. Any number that had the last digit not being zero wouldn't be able to be calculated by 2020. So because of that, we want to subtract as many 2021s as possible until the final digit is equal to zero. So in this case, minus 2021 equals 2020. In this case, yeah, so we can use 2020 to subtract this to zero. And see that the sum of this is just 2020 plus 2021. So, Okay, so now let's take, think of a scenario where once we subtract enough 2021s to get the final digit equal to zero, subtracting enough 2020s would make it equal to zero. So here's an example. So let's take 20, 26 to 72. So from the first principle, you can see that we only get the final digit equal to zero. So we will subtract 2021 multiplied by 2. So the final thing would be 2, 2, 2, 3, 0. However, if you were to divide this value, by 21 or 2020. The value to get is not equal to zero. So what would you do from here? So one thing you could do is subtract this by 2021 multiplied by 10. So by doing this, this value is 2021. Zero. And so the final digit remains zero, but you're able to remove a large chunk off this number and check once again if 2020 can be divided into this. So by doing so, um, the value you get is just um, is just 2020.
right, so you can see this here, I know that works. So, fundamentally, what would you do? So, the first step is subtract enough 2021s such that the final digit is equal to zero. Um, and the second step would be test if it's divisible by zero. Step two. And step three would be to subtract enough 2021s. So, these two steps you would keep repeating until the number between zero or um, you got an answer. So what is Java code for this? So we see first we're reading in the number of test cases and reading the number. And then right here we would obtain the final number. Um, final number of things. So in this case we would obtain one. And then we subtract 2021 multiplied by that value. So 2021 times 1. And then in this part right here, we do the two steps that's highlighted over here. We would check if 2020 can be clearly divided into this number. And if not, we subtract 2021 multiplied by 10. And so, yeah, that's essentially it for this problem.